hit the first ones with a nuke. Oh, this looks so cool. It's so awesome. Okay, now I'm scared. That was like my whole game plan, and now I'm simply terrified. Okay, so how many Kongs can minus one kill? Or better yet, if we use developer cheats and make Evolve Godzilla, how many Kongs can Evolve Godzilla kill? That's what we're figuring out today. It's the great monkey apocalypse. Okay, Godzilla minus one shoots nukes out of his face. Like, that's pretty freaking amazing, and I feel like that could absolutely decimate a Kong in real life. Like, Kong would get freaking messed up by a nuke. There's no way he wouldn't. So what's the best minus one build for taking out an army of Kongs? Obviously, we need max damage. That much is a given. Dude, I haven't used the minus one in like a week. I'm freaking scared right now. I'd say health is pretty important, but once those apes catch up to us, it's not gonna freaking matter how much health we have. Regen's probably pretty important. Speed? I don't know, dude, because the apes are so freaking fast, they're just gonna get us anyways. But there's somehow, there's some build we could use that could eliminate a bunch of monkeys. And if we start getting health boosts off killing other ones, then we could eventually eliminate the entire army. In theory! Okay, this is what I'm going with. I don't know if it's legit or the best move to do, but it's it's what we're doing. I feel like it's not legit, but there's the, there's no like no one no one knows the best build to fight an army of monkeys <laughs> is the thing. And there it is. We just invited a few more to fill the server up, but a lot of these apes are freaking professionals. Look at Colty with his 160 million G cells. Pretty glorious though. They managed to stack four people high. I'm pretty scared at the oh wow P Mac Colty Dizzy and. Ender cookie. I'm using the moves real quick to remember what I'm supposed to like the best way to go about this The best way to handle an army of monkeys. Is there a best way to handle an army of monkeys? Okay, nice. We got some more scavengers heading in. It's like a militia joining me there Look at that fat pile of stinky ape. I bet if we go behind him It's just a wall of like poop stuck in fur. Look at them all scratching their butts together like side by side butt scratch by butt scratch This army stands strong there's so many here that at any given point, one of them is always scratching their butt. It's just hard to find which one's doing it. <laughs> okay, in the first round, whoever kills me gets the Robux. I am freaking scared to crap right now, dude. There's no way this is gonna go well for me. All right, once I type in go, it's time to, it's, it's the show time, baby. Let them scratch their butts one last time. And right, let's get it going. All right, first things first, we nuke them right as they head over. Yes, hit the first ones with a nuke. Oh, this looks so cool. It's so awesome. Okay, now I'm scared. That was like my whole game plan, and now I'm simply terrified. Like, now, where are they gonna head up? They're probably gonna head up around this entranceway. So maybe if we do like this right here, it should fall on them? Necessarily? No, I did the wrong move right there. I'm so stupid. Wow, that was so dorky. Oh God, here they come. Here they come. Woo! No! Run away! Run away, Johnny! Run for your life! Let the regen play a part, buddy! Yeah! Oh my god! That was so quick! I didn't kill any of them! <laughs> okay, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, hang on a second. No, there's no way around that. That was just plain stupid. This is how science goes, though. Science doesn't always go the way we wanted to. Okay, Bambits, Epic Boys, back up. Got me, boy, boy, back up. Yeah, that's it. That dude got me pretty freaking good. He charged right in there. So that, that sucked. But <laughs> in real life, that nuke would have killed multiple monkeys. But now it's time for an army of Kongs versus evolved Godzilla. I know what you're thinking. That's just the purple Godzilla, you dumb idiot. That's not an evolved Godzilla. No to all of those things. You'll see. Look at him already building up freaking stinkers. Okay, so this time it's going to be different. Okay, so the developer command box that's going to give us the powers of evolved Godzilla just made me normal colors again. I, for I forget it does that every freaking time. It takes away all the beauty that she once had in return for the powers of a god. But look, Godzilla 2024. That's our official developer name now, bro. We're official. Now it's only a little bit clickbait. Okay, last time we created Evolved Godzilla and Kaiju Universe, I didn't give it any melee damage boost because, I don't know, I just, I kind of made an independent decision saying it wouldn't be any stronger. But a bunch of people since then pointed out the arms on the Evolved Goji are way more muscular. Which means we shall make its mauling attack much stronger. However, it's dual bash and other stuff. I feel like dual bash should be less weight or less damage because it's smaller now. It's like, 
is charging you with a thinner Godzilla. Intimidation rumbling the tail isn't necessarily any different either. But because Evolved Godzilla has more muscular arms, we shall make this move more powerful. Those crazy apes down there. Bunch of crazy bastards. Okay, so I'm going to put our health up to hmm, 7,000. 7,000 feels like an appropriate amount for an Evolved Godzilla. A regular beefcake. We're going to make our health regeneration a little bit higher as well, because why not? Our charge max is 100. I've never noticed this actually change. If I do this, does that actually... Yeah, see, it doesn't change your charge max at all. It's lies. It's lies and propaganda. However, our sprinting speed shall be faster indeed. Ooh, that rhymed. Because the dude just generally runs way faster in the trailer. Is this actually even faster? It doesn't seem faster. Oh, he's schmoovin'. It just doesn't feel like it because he's such a big, fat, lovable dude. Okay, our first attack mauling the melee hands move. This one now does 1,000 damage because he's got way more muscular arms. Atomic breath goes from 1,850 damage to 2,500 damage because the atomic breath is going to be radiated and purple and way more damage and sexy. And Hollow Earth breath shall go from 2,250 damage to, ooh, 3,500? Oh, damn, that's a crazy amount of, I, that's, I'm gonna feel bad. That's gonna kill so many monkeys. 3,200, the realm of possible. All right, here's our evolved Koji. He runs almost twice as quickly. He's got way stronger melee and his atomic breath is enough to fry a toddler. Probably another Kaiju as well, but... Let's just take a quick moment to thank every brave ape who showed their face today. Look at this. Big ape, small ape, round ape, short ape, slightly zesty ape, beautiful blue eye ape, albino ape. This guy is adorable. This one's got ADD and this one's got a hint of the tism as it scratches his butt preparing for battle. Okay, I now have my health bar. The boss mode has been initiated. My name is Ape Boy. I told Varet to call me Ape Boy. I don't know why I said that. I'm like the only one here who's not even an ape. It was stupid. It was stupid on my part, and I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's going. All right, let's get it on. Hit him with the beam. Scatter him. Scatter him like ants. You know what? Let's divide it amongst 20 monkeys. That beam really isn't as crazy as it once was. Come on, Hollow Earth Breath. Regenerate quicker. Re okay, now hit him with the hit him with the jazz, Johnny. How's this gonna work out? Oh, the jazz! Oh, so much jazz! So many monkeys just died right there. Oh, like oh, so many just died right there. <laughs> well, that's the realism we're looking for, isn't it? That's what we're like—an atomic breath that eliminates monkeys. Okay, now we're out of our beam charges, though. We gotta rely on freaking atomic. Atomic. Why would I do that? Atomic breath! Recharge quickly, or I'm going to die! There's monkeys all over the place! Oh wow, I greatly underestimated the power of a monkey. And the speed! The speed of monkeys! They're so damn fast! They're so fast! No! <laughs> those apes! Those brutal apes! Matty Obabo! Both times it show who'd kill me, it never shows. Damn! That's crazy that we killed a bunch of them. I think that was peak evolved Godzilla realism. Like, melee-wise, a bunch of Kongs would chop it up for sure. But beam-wise, it absolutely vaporizes a bunch of monkeys. That was beautifully beautifully done right there. I think that was pretty pristine and beautiful for a prediction for how an evolved Godzilla versus an army of Kongs battle could go down. But let me know down below. Let me know what you guys think we could have done different or what we should do different next time. Either way, this video was freaking awesome. Thank you so much, everyone on the sidebar who joined in. And thank you, Varet, the developer, for helping us organize this entire thing. Beautiful community all around. Leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord to get in on events such as this. And we'll see you next time.